I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'll let everyone that's here on time um, and even here before the lesson um, is due to start. So well done for that. Um, I'm just going to take one more minute um, and just see if there are any other students coming and then inshallah we will start the lesson. Okay, so uh, I'm going to select A5117 to read the opening prayer. Assalamu alaikum, A5117. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Could you please read uh, this prayer and also the one underneath as well? Yep. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rahbi Allah Ali Alimni Mahu wa khayrun in Daka. Okay, and the next line. Rabbana takabal minna in Nakat and Tats Tas Tas me ul Alim and Tas me ul Alim and Tas me ul Alim. Just join us uh, so, at Antasa 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 me ul Ali Antasta me u Ali. Okay, Jazakallah, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I will. I was going to do uh, a very quick recap of yesterday's lesson, um, but I'm going to make wait for a few more students because I wanted to just clarify one point. Um, so what we'll do is we are we'll carry on with the slides, um, and then we will come back to it um, later on in the lesson. So I just want to ask for a student from Nasarat. Uh, let's have N six one one four. If I can find her. Uh, if you can't see my screen, try to log out and then log back in again. Okay, I don't think. Okay, there we go. Assalamu alaikum. In six one one four. Waalaikum salam. Um, so I've got in front of me. The, some of the some words from the Holy Quran and what I'd like you to do is first of all read them um, without stopping and then if you can read them um, when performing vakf so just to practice um, lesson number two that we covered <laughs> Bunyanan. Very good. And if you're going to pause? Bunyana. Excellent. And the next one, please? Arruya. And if you're pausing? Arruya. Very good. And Badiyar Ra'yi. And if you're going to pause? Badiyar Ra'yi. So um, when you're pausing, this is also going to take a sukoon. Um, and when you're reading it, you're going to slightly hear the, the ya. So, ba di ya ra'i. Ba di ya ra'i. Ba di ya ra'i. Very good. And the next one, please. Bisu in. Very good. And if you're going to pause? Bisu. Excellent. Very good. And the next one? Mukhitun. And if you're pausing? Mukhit. 
Excellent, very good. Can I have A5113 now, please? Assalamualaikum. Could you please start the next line and do exactly the same? So, first read it without pausing. No, Ima. So, without pausing. Yep. No, Ima. Good. And if you're going to stop there, how is it going to change? No, Ima. Excellent. So the only thing that I want, um, the actual pausing was very good. Just remember when we did our letters of the Arabic alphabet to make the ain sound from your throat. Na rima. Na ima. Na rima. Na rima. Excellent. Very good. And the next one, please. Janun. Very good. And if you're pausing. Done. Excellent, very good. And the next one, please. And if you're pausing. So yeah, so you're slightly going to hear that ain. Just keep practicing on that ain. Is it? It is a little bit tricky, but we definitely still want to hear it at the end of that word. Almost there. Keep practicing. Uh, the next one, please. And if you're going to pause. Not quite. So, try again. Try it. Try it. Try it. Excellent. Very good. And the last one, please. Nisa. On. Yep. And if you're going to pause there. Nisa. Make it a little bit longer because it's going to be two seconds on the top of Nisa. Uh, Very good. Nisa. Uh, Nisa. Uh, excellent. Very good. Jazakallah. Thank you very much um, to both of you. So very well read and um, very good application of our book rules. Um, can I have another diff? I think I'm going to have A5119. Assalamualaikum. A5119. Yeah. You start on the third line? Okay. Um, so when you're joining this, make sure that the sheen is connecting with the ha. Very good. And if you're going to pause that, is there going to be any change? No. Okay, excellent. And the next one, please. Allah has... Very good. And if you're pausing? Yeah. Uh, so do you remember that we covered um, the Qalqala letters? Um, and Dal is also a Qalqala letter when it takes a Sukun. So on this Dal, you're going to vibrate the sound. And also when this when you pause here, this Dal also takes a Sukun. So al hud hud al hud hud very good. And the next one, please. Vastak uh, Hiru. If you, yeah. So that's if you're pausing, it will be Vastak uh, Hiru. Uh, um, if you read this first continuously, and then when you pause. Vastak Hiru. Vastak Hiru. And pausing. Vastak Hiru. And the next one, please. Uh, not ha, but jim. Yeah, very good. Um, and if you're reading it continuously, how do you read it? Jozan. Very good. And um, first of all, continuously. Maulan. And if you're pausing. 
Uh, no, so it will be it will be two second prolongation because again it's Fatul Bain. Maula. Maula. Okay, perfect. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. So I think um, you, the majority of you, have mastered that lesson. So we will move on. Um, we have come to the end of this uh, set of revision slides. As I said, there was one point that I wanted to just clarify, um, but I will wait a little bit longer um, to see if any other students are going to join us. Um, so what we'll do is we'll move on to the next lesson, um, which is... Uh, uh, should be... Okay. We are on lesson number four. So this is basically just some of the trickier words um, in the Holy Quran. So certain portions have been taken from the Holy Quran and we're going to be looking at how to read them. So this will hopefully be helpful, especially with your um, exam coming up next week. So uh, let's start with the first one. I'm going to select, um, let's have N6127. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could you please read the first word first of all um, without pausing? So just read it as if you weren't going to stop. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Lisa Arn. Very good. And if you're going to pause there, how are you going to read it? Lisa not Nisa, so remember with Fathatain, it's a different rule to Dhammatain and Kasratain. Um, if it was just this, then it would take a sukoon. But remember with Fathatain, it's going to be two seconds uh, prolongation. Nisa. Very good. And if you read that one first of all without stopping. Look on. And if you're going to pause. Look on. Excellent. So again, we've got um, this is this ties into the rule that we covered yesterday about this Hamza, which sits on the chair of the wall. So we're not looking at the wall, but we're looking at the stroke on the Hamza. So because we've got that then it's going to be two seconds. So well done. And if you read this without pausing first. Excellent. And if you're going to pause. Excellent. So what's happening on the Hamza? What stroke is being replaced when you pause? Um, the Dhamma. Excellent. And what's taking its place? A second. Yeah, very good. How would you, um, first of all, read it as if it was continuous and then how you would read it um, when you so imagine that you're joining this previous class with this more. How would you read it if it was continuous? Nilazi. Yep, nilazi. And if you're going to um, restart this verse, how would you read this? Allazi. Excellent, very good. So in continuous recitation, we'll read this more more. But if we've stopped a verse and we're restarting, we don't read that small noon and we um, apply the correct stroke um, on the next word. So very good. And the next one, please. Uma mim mim. Can I start again? Yeah. yeah. Uma mim 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 mama arka. So it's a bit of a tongue twister. So you've got three me mushaddads. Uma mim mam mam ma'aka. Uma mim mim mam ma'aka. Uma mim mam mam ma'aka. Uma mim mam mam ma'aka. Excellent. So if it's um, confusing to anybody, just break it down and um, do one me um, mushadid at a time. Um, and if you're going to pause, how would you read that? Uma mim mim. Wait, can I start again? Yeah. Uma mim mam mam ak. 
Umamimamak. Yep, so the calf is just taking a school. Excellent. And if you can read the final one, please. Excellent. And if you're going to pause. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. That was really well read. So um, on these two examples, especially do lots and lots of practice. Um, just to kind of master, because it is a bit of a tongue twister for both of these, but um, really well read from um, a previous student. So over here as well, just remember that when you're joining this ya, which is attached to the jim, you're going to make um, a slight nasal sound when you're merging it with the ya mushaddad. So, so a slight nasal sound should come through when you're merging these two together. But um, really well read so far by um, all of the students that have recited. And this time I'm going to come to A5127. Assalamu alaikum, A5127. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could you please read the next example? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bazaaratum. So read it one more time, please. Okay, so over here, just remember with the Hamza, this is a small Hamza, so it's going to have the sound of the Alif, not the Ain. Okay, excellent. And the next one, please. Can I start again? Yeah, sure. Yep, so if you're pausing Qad, very good. Um, read it one more time. Excellent, really well read. And again, the nasal sound comes through slightly when you're joining um, this Ya with Tanveen, with this Ya Mushaddad. Okay, uh, the next one, please. Bismillahi majriha. Okay, so the the point that's highlighted in this one um, is uh, the ra with a vertical kasra underneath. Um, and what you basically just need to know is that there is one um, example in the Holy Quran, uh, which is in Surah Al Hud. Um, and over here, you don't actually recite it the way that you would usually for a vertical kasra. So the way that you read this surah is re. So, bismillahi majareha. Okay, so it won't be riha. This is just a very unique example, which is in chapter 11 of the Holy Quran. Bismillahi majareha. Can you read that for me? Bismillahi majareha. Not riha, majareha. Bismillahi Majareha. Bismillahi Majareha. Very good, excellent. So this is just um, a bit of an anomaly, if you like. So um, just remember, this is in um, Surah Al Hud, chapter eleven, verse number forty-two, and yes. we're not going to prolong it. We're just going to read it in a a different way. Uh, okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, from You're here. welcome. Thank you. Um, so what I'll do is I'm just going to go back to um, yesterday's slide before we move on. Um, so it was regarding this point over here. Um, so I think it was A5103 who, wrote, who correctly pointed out that um, because this is uh, this word over here, um, remember when we talk about applying the correct stroke on the alif, um, I mentioned that there were some exceptions. So um, very well done to A5103 who um, corrected me because I completely overlooked it. Um, the word over here is muhu. This is actually going to take the kasra rather than the dhamma. So I made the mistake of saying that 
um, because this meme carries a dhamma, this will carry a dhamma as well. But A5103 correctly pointed out at the end of yesterday's lesson that this word ismun is one of the six exceptions that appears um, according to this rule. So with these six words, they will always take um, a kasra stroke. So um, that's something that I completely overlooked. So well done to A5103. Um, and this actually appears in, if I have it open, uh, this is chapter 19, verse number 8. Uh, Ismuhu Yahya. So it's talking about um, the Prophet Yahya, alayhi salam. So that's just one point that I wanted to clear up. Um, so apologies from me. That was completely overlooked on my part. Um, so yeah, again, really important to keep these exceptions in your mind so that you know uh, when they, they come up in the recitation. So hopefully that is clear. Um, We'll move back to our lesson then, and this time we'll have a student from Nasrat. If I can have N6102. Assalamu alaikum, N6102. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, how are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. So could you please read this word over here? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya <clears throat> Ya Bunayar Kab Kabam Kam Kamma an Kamma ana. Excellent, really good. So you picked up this actually came up in yesterday's lesson as well. So we have I was here yesterday. I okay. That's fine. That's not a problem. But for those of you that were here, um, we did look in the slides yesterday. Um, what happens when you have a sakin letter, which appears um, in the middle of a mutaharik letter, so a letter which carries a stroke, and a mushadad uh, letter, I think. Yeah, so it's over here. So um, we have over here, for example, qaf, which has got a dhamma. Sakin letter in the middle and then a mushaddad letter. So what we learnt was that we merge um, this first letter with this letter and we don't read the middle one. So qur rabbi rather than qul rabbi. So in exactly the same way, um, we've got over here, we've got the kaf, which is the mutaharik letter because it's carrying the stroke of fatha. And then we have the mushaddad letter here. And sandwiched in between these two, we've got the sakin letter, the muted letter. So we're not going to read this ba. So you correctly read it as ya bunayyar kam ma'ana. Kam ma'ana. So the ba is actually missed out. So well done. If you're going to pause on this um, sentence, are you going to make any changes? Um, no. Okay, excellent. Very good. And if you can read the next one, firstly, without pausing. Be so, be so in. Very good. And if you're going to pause, how would you read it? Be so. Excellent. And the next one. Juzza. <clears throat> no, no, Um. So this is a sukun on this za as well. So there's not going to be any um, stroke on it. Juzza. Oh. Juzan. And if you're going to pause there, how would you read it? Juzan. Excellent. How many seconds are we giving on the Hamza when pausing? Two. Yeah, very good. Um, if you read the next example, please. Make the sheen a little bit shorter because it's just a Try it right, one more time. Awa mayo, awa mayo na shau. Excellent. And if you're going to pause, how are you going to read it? Very good. So this again, we're focusing only on the Hamza because it's um, sitting on the chair of the wall, so we ignore the wall. Awa mayu nasha, so it, it's taking a sukun. Very good. And the next one, please. Ba, ba, uh, un. And if you're going to pause. Ba, uh, okay. So in the middle, um, remember that alif. Uh, um, in the middle, it never joins. So this is actually a lam. So bala un. 
Wala on. And if you're going to pause? Wala. Excellent. Um, first of all, read this continuously without making any pauses. Almost there. So remember, when you're reading continuously, you'll actually read the small noon. So this noon quotidian will come up in your recitation. So try again. So I pronounce the noon. Yep, yep. Very good. And also, you, you read it correctly, but um, just another point to point out is that when you um, are reading it continuously, when you have this um, alif madda, you're not actually going to recite it. So we, we never prolong the alif if it comes before a small noon in continuous recitation. So this actually came up in... Uh, in your 20 common errors, do not pronounce an alif if it appears before a small noon in continuous reading. So, um, in all of these places, we're not prolonging that alif. Um, so, well done, you didn't prolong that. Um, but remember, if you're re reciting continuously, you do read the small noon. If you were to stop over here after this word, shay'a, how would you read just the first word? Shay'a. Very good. So when you stop, you actually prolong it. If you're reading it continuously, you don't read the alif, but when you stop, you prolong it. Shay'a. Very good. And if you were to start again, um, do you know what stroke you would apply on the alif? A sukun. Uh, it won't be a sukun. So you have to figure out if it's going to be fatha damma or kasra. Uh, I didn't get the question. So, uh, say you stopped over here. Yeah. When you when you restart again, you can't read it as nitta khadaha. Okay. Oh, you can't read the small noon. So that leaves you with a bit of a, a problem because you've got this alif here, but you have to figure out which stroke to put on the alif to start again. So in order to figure that out, you have to look at what comes after. And because the next letter um, has got a fatha. Um, if it's got a fatha or a kasra, this alif is going to take a kasra as well. So uh, the way that you read it is it the Okay. 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 Brilliant. Um, so again, we did cover it in yesterday's lesson. It's just about learning um, how to recognize what stroke to put. So if the next letter is lam sakin lam shaddat, it's fatha. If the first letter with a stroke has got a fatha or a kasra, the alif takes a kasra. And if the first letter with the stroke has got a dhamma, it takes a dhamma. And then there are some exceptions to that rule. So um, just once you get the hang of that, um, also learn the exceptions and then hopefully you should be okay. Um, could you please read the, the last one, please? La, 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 ibu wa la, hu. la, so read the dhamma then on the wall as well. Okay. La la ibu wa la hudun. Excellent. And if you're going to pause? La ibu wa la. Oh, Mister. La ibu wa la. So you're slightly going to hear that wow. It's going to take a second. La ibu wa la. Okay. La ibu wa la. La. No. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. That was really well read. So well done. Thank you very much. Um, I'm now going to take a student from at the far this time. So let's have A5105. Assalamu alaikum. A5105. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could you please read the next word? Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oli, oli Very good. So um, in this over here, what are we making sure we don't read in this um, phrase? Blank letter. Yeah, excellent. And while is the blank letter? If you're going to pause, how are you going to read this? Oli Baksin. Yep, yeah, very good. So again, um, we're going to have two letters which both have a sukun next to each other. Oli Baksin. Okay, 
Uh, and if you read the next one, please. Excellent. Very good. So what is the rule that you're looking out for when you're reading this? When the um, the crosses. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what we call those? What What's the term for those alifs? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I forgot. So we call it alif zaida or excessive alif, which we covered yesterday. But um, you read it absolutely perfectly. So because they both have crosses over them, we only focus on the lam, which is in the middle, and we only read that. So, bit salis mulfusuku. And if you're pausing there, how are you reading it? Um, bit sa, um, bit salis mulfusuku. If you're going to pause, how do you, how do you read that? Suku. Not ku. So remember the qaf, uh, the dhamma is going to take a sukun. Um, and then it becomes. Suku. Yeah. And then it also becomes um, a kalkala letter. So you vibrate it slightly. Bit salis mulfusuku. Bit. Bit fasi. Bit fasi. Bit salis very good okay excellent so over here um again we've got an example of a black alif so if you were imagine you were carrying on from the previous verse how are you going to read this very good excellent so when you're continuously reading you read the small noon only thing was on this dal what have you forgotten to do um, so this is also a qalqala letter. How are we going to read it? Jirka, no, wait, sorry. Um, I don't so, know. So um, vibrate the sound a little bit, like you did with the qaf at the end. Make the sound um, make a slight jerk on the sound. Um, so, nidda. Yep. Excellent, yeah. So, nidhulu ha bi salamin. And if you're pausing um, at the end of this, how would you read it? Nidhulu ha bi salamin. And if you're pausing, how is it going to change? Um, lam. Yeah, so bi salam, yeah. Very good. Um, so another question, if you are, so say you stopped at the end of that verse and you have to figure out what stroke to put on this alif, um, what, what do you think it's going to take? Fatha, Dhamma or Kasra? Um, noon. Uh, so we're not reading the noon. When we restart, we're not going to read the noon. So we have to figure out what to put on the alif. Kasra. Not a kasra. So remember, we have to look at the first stroke, which uh, first letter which carries a stroke, which isn't oh. dal because it's sakin letter. So kha has got a dhamma. So what will the alif have? Dhamma. Excellent. So how are you going to read it? Um, no, no noon. Remember, we're not reading the noon when we um, when we stop there. Good. Yeah, very good. Udhuluha bi salamin. Udhuluha bi salamin. Excellent. And the last one, please. Huwa fi shalnin. Not, not long. Shalnin. Huwa fi shalnin. And if you're pausing there, so noon will take a sukun. How do you think you'll read it? Huwa fi shalnin. Um, yeah, so just merge the sound a little bit. Huwa fi shatn. Huwa fi shatn. Shatn. Yeah, you should slightly hear that noon. Okay, Jazakallah, really well read. Thank you. Um, and can I have N61005? Yeah. I have a question. Um, yeah. my, uh, my little sister, she's in G1. She yeah. uh, 
we've we've received the new meeting ID for G1, but it says um it pops up on the screen uh, the meeting password. Um, that would have been the same password as um it was before. Okay. Well, I can't announce it on here because it's a recorded class and it goes um, publicly, but it's exactly the same password. And then you, you, know, use it you don't know the password before. Oh, you didn't. How did um, how did you get into the G1 classes? Because I'm sure it had a password before as well. Oh, the, oh yeah, we do. Sorry. Yeah. So it's the same password as you have for G2 as okay. well. Exactly. Yeah? Okay, no problem. Um, can I have N6105, please? Oh, I think I've had um, her already. So let's have um, N6120. Assalamu alaikum, N6120. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Could you please d read this next example? Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sayyazakaru. Excellent. And if you're pausing? Sayyazakar. Very good. And the next one, please. Minhumalu. Read it one more time. So remember, you're reading the Dhamma on the Lam and also on the Hamza. Oh, okay. Minhumalu. Very good. And if you're pausing, how would you read it? Minhumalu. Yep, very good. So it'll be lu lu at the end. Um, so exactly the same. And the next one, please. Very good. And if you're pausing there, how is it going to change? Not shat, so remember fathatain is different to kasratain and dhammatain, so it's going to be two seconds at the end. Two seconds, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, read one more time. Excellent, very good. And the next one, please. La anthum. Very good. And what are you paying attention to over here in this word? Um, the alif next to the lam um, won't be pronounced because it has an X on it. Brilliant. Yeah. And if you read that one, please. Wallahi. Excellent. And if you're pausing, is there going to be any change there? No, because it's a um, letter of elongation. Brilliant. Very good. And the next one, please. Very good. Just put a little bit more stress um, with the meme mushaddad. Okay. Excellent. And the next one, please. Not, 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 Good. Um, just over here, so remember ta is one of those five qalqala letters, so just vibrate that sound. Nutfatan. Nutfatan. Good. Um, okay, and read it again, so um, merging all of these mushaddad letters together. Okay. Nutfatan mimman yumna. Excellent. Nutfatan mimman yumna. Just so read it again. Yeah, one more time, please. Excellent, very good. And the next one, please. So this is tha, remember? Oh, yeah. If you're pausing, how is it going to change? So remember, Fathatain is different. 
Sura. Excellent. And the last one, please. Waji. And if you're pausing. Waji. Excellent. Very good. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. That was really well read. Thank you. Um, so I just want to see, are there any questions regarding this lesson? If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Okay. N6137, you have a question? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Do you have any question you'd like to ask? Do you know, you know Fanun Kutni? Mm -hmm. um, uh, when do you not pronounce the Kutni? So if you, um, let me go back to here. So if you're reading it continuously without any stops, so you're in the middle of a verse, then you read it. If you decide to stop here for whatever reason, say you stopped here and it becomes khair, then when you're restarting, you don't read it. And exactly the same if it's um, if you finished a verse and then there's a new verse starting and there's one right in the beginning, you don't read it. OK. OK. Jazakallah. OK. No problem. Thank you very much. Um, and anyone else that has questions, please raise your hand so we can take a moment to answer them. Um, N6136. Assalamualaikum. N six one three six. You have a question. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Yep. What would you like to ask? Um. Um. Do you know for the uh, external exams? Yeah. Mhm. Mm um. For those, uh, when we have to uh send in our recording, where do we send it to? Okay, so the external exam, that's a different thing. So the exam is basically when you'll have um, a, a different teacher come in and um, listen to recitation of some of you. So that's next Tuesday on the 12th of November. Um, the other thing which is regarding the recording, that's for um, our final lesson. So our last lesson is on Friday next week. And for that, we're asking for um, any students that are interested um, in doing the lava at the beginning of that session, um, it's Surah Al-Baqarah verses 1 to 6. If you'd like to have a go um, at seeing if you can be picked for the lava, then you can send it to um, the usual email address, which is info at nqc.org.uk. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to repeat the email or have you got that? Um. Could you just hold on a minute while I get a bit of paper to write it down? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> mm -hmm. Could you repeat the email, please? Yeah, so it's info, I-N-F-O, at mm -hmm. N-Q-C dot org dot uk and that's okay, Surah versus one to six Jazakilla. thank you very much okay. um we'll take one more question so whoever's first uh so we've got n6103 assalamualaikum n6103 you have a question assalamualaikum assalam. what would you like to ask is it after that we need to do a recording Sorry, repeat the question. <clears throat> you know the uh, recording that we can send? Yeah. Is it uh, compulsory? No, no, no. It's completely optional. Um, we So basically from G1 group, someone will do Nazm in that session. Um, so we thought it'd be nice to have someone from G2 to do Talavat. So it's only if you're interested. It's not compulsory at all. Um, if you'd like to be, uh, again, it's, it's only going to be one student that's picked. So of all of the recordings that are sent, um, Hafsab will make a decision and pick um, whoever he thinks is best. So um, it's just if you're interested and you think that you're at a good standard of recitation, it's, it's completely voluntary. So you don't have to do it. Okay, Dazakla. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you very much. So what we'll do is we will, um, if anyone has any burning questions that they absolutely have to ask, please put your hand up. Um, okay, A5107. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. What would you like to ask? 
How is the test going to be tested? Um, so it's, do you remember when we had the internal assessment where I was just listening to your recitation? It was a few weeks ago. Um, yeah. It's exactly the same. So it's basically you're going to be given a portion of the Holy Quran to recite. Um, and then whoever the examiner is, they're going to listen to your recitation and highlight any of your mistakes and give you feedback. Okay. Okay. But okay. isn't yeah. anyone else going to hear it as well? Um, it's... It's, so it's going to be in this class. It's going to be during the session on Tuesday, um, but it's going to be a, not a G2 teacher. So none of the teachers that usually take your lessons. It's going to be someone from outside. Okay. 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 Jazakallah. Um, any other questions? Uh, okay. A5108. A5108, do you have a question? N6108, do you have a question? Assalamu alaikum, N6108, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Wa alaikum assalam. Do you have a question that you'd like to ask? Um, yes, actually, I have two questions. Yeah. Um, this question is, um, you know how you said you can send recordings in? Mm -hmm. um, like, where do you send it to? Like, like so the email is um it's an email address which is um it should be the same email that you got your registration details from so it's info at nqc.org.uk okay. okay 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 and the second question is um you know how you're taking our external exams mm -hmm. um could we be like moving like into like an upper set like g3 um, at the moment, there's only two teaching groups, so um, it's really just about just for you to get feedback um, from a teacher that doesn't usually teach you so they can see how you've progressed. So um, the examiner is most likely to be half a sub, so he'll be judging um, how your recitation is, has progressed. Um, at the moment, because there's only two teaching groups, there's not really any other set to move to. Um, but inshallah, when, when the program does grow even more, um, we could potentially have a third teaching group. But for now, it's really just about um, examining you on everything that you've covered so far. Okay? Okay, Jazakallah. Okay, Jazakallah. Uh, any other questions, then we can move on. Okay, uh, last question. N6133, what would you like to ask? So what was the email that you have to go on again? So the email to send in your recording is info info at nqc.org.uk So info at nqc.org.uk Is that okay? Okay, yes. Okay, hopefully that's clear. Again, um, completely optional. You don't have to send in your recording. It's just if you'd like the chance to maybe do the lava in our closing session, um, then it'll be a good opportunity for you. Um, so let's move back and do a couple of more words and then we'll wrap up the lesson. So let's have this time. Um, let's have A5108. Assalamu As alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. A5108, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Could you please read um, this word over here? So over here, you have to consider you've, you've got a blank alif over here. So how do you think you're going to work out what stroke to put on the alif? Um... Um, what, what letter do you think you're going to be looking at to work it out? The, the third letter. Excellent. So this has got a kasra stroke. So what do you think the alif is going to have? A kasra stroke. Very good. So how are you going to read it? Um, ir, ir, g, e. Excellent. Very good. Ir, g, i. E. Ir, g, i. E. Excellent. So remember with the ain, 
we want the ain sound to be different to the alif sound in the middle uh, in the start irji um irji irji very good okay and if you read the next one first of all read it um without making a pause um, okay al al fi shahrin very good and if you're going to pause how are you reading it al fi shahr excellent al fi shahr very good um and the next one first of all without pausing la la bi wa tab tab excellent if you're going to pause um it's going to take a sukoon how are you going to read it la bi wa tab Excellent. La ha bion wa tab. La ha bion wa tab. So this ba, again, it's a qalqala letter. So not only are you going to vibrate the sound, but because there's a shadda as well, there's going to be even more stress on it. La ha bion wa tab. La ha bion wa tab. Excellent. And the next one, please. Um. Uh... Raman vi ramen. Raman vi ramen likaila. Yep, just make the, the final la a little bit longer. So read it one more time. Okay. Ram. Raman vi ramen likaila. Excellent, really good. That's a bit of a tongue twister as well. Uh, read this one, please. Mi 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 miras mi miras mi miras so sabmawati mamawa. Okay, good. The only thing is, um, so this the the two letters that I highlighted in this. Do you know why they might have been highlighted? What do you have to remember to do? Uh, because um, the first one is supposed to be sa, and the second one's supposed to be sa. Excellent. Very good. So you have to make um a difference in the sound. So this tha is going to be like a very um soft th, like thin or thank you mirathu. And then this scene is going to be like a, a normal S in English. As-samawati. So when you're joining it together, mirathus samawati. So make sure there's a difference between the tha and the scene. So read it one more time. Mirathus samawati. Very good. Mirathus samawati. Mira Thusama Mira Thusama Excellent, very good. Um, and read this one, please. Yep, excellent. So you're exactly right. You're prolonging the Hamza. Allahu. So prolonging that for 46 seconds and then joining it directly with the Lam Mushaddad. So very well read. And read this last one for me, please. Read Ayu Saddi Saddi Kuni. Excellent, really well read. Okay, Jazakallah, very well read. Really good Sorry. recitation there. Thank you very much. Um, let's take one final student. So I'm going to pick N6131. Assalamu alaikum, N6131. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Please read um, the next example. Auzu billahi min shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Asa usua. Very good. Um, and over here, what do we have examples of that we're ignoring when we recite? Um, blank letters. Yep, excellent. Um, and over here, please. Shufa And if you're going to pause there, how are you reading it? 
Shufa ah. Excellent. Very good. So you hear that slight jerk at the end because the Hamza takes sukun. Next one. Tabarra alazi natu natu bi u. Excellent. And if you're pausing there. Tabarra alazi natu bi u. Excellent. So because it's um. Uh, while Madda, there's going to be no change. Next one. Fal you adilla fal you fal you adilla zit to min. Yeah, very good. So, again, um, what do we have examples in here that we're ignoring when we're reading? Um, the um, the Hamza on top of a wa. Uh, so, not the Hamza. But the it's the blank ya and the blank alif that we're ignoring. So, So uh, we're not prolonging. So some people might fall into the trap of reading this as a ya madda and prolonging it. But we're joining this dal with this hamza. So min. Very good. Um, next one, please. Mimmana. Excellent. So what letter in this sequence have you missed out? Um, the noon with the sukun on it. Yep, very good. Um, and the next one, please. Mudda mudda wa Excellent. What do we have right at the end over here? This wall. What is it? An example of? Um, it's a lean letter. Yep, excellent. So, so we're rounding that sound a little bit. Um, and the next one, please. Yep, so that's when you're pausing. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and if you can read this long one over here, just to finish with. Her be at her Yep, um, the only thing was that, um, I think you read this is a, a, a dhamma, so al-qadu. I think you misread the stroke. Um, so read it just one more time. Hallahu. Hallahu. And yep, correct. Uh, Hallah, if you're pausing. Um, just over here, remember this ha, we're making it to th different to this ha. So, lil harbi, ha from the throat, and atfa'a ha. So, this is ha and ha. Okay? Lil harbi, atfa'a ha. Okay? Okay. Okay, Jazakallah. Um, whilst you're still there, if you can please read the um, concluding prayer since it's now eight o'clock. Allahumma rahmani bil Quran al Azim, wajalhu li imam wa nura wa huda wa rahma. And the translation, please. O oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Qur'an and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance and the mercy. Excellent. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Really, really good recitation today. Um, so I'm really, really impressed. And I, I know that those of you that are selected to do the um, exam on Tuesday, I'm sure you'll do very well. So Jazakallah and see you in tomorrow's lesson, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.